movieweb.com. Watching this film, there's like a real like buzzing energy to this, and I'm wondering what you account that to, if you know what I'm talking about watching it. Mm -hmm. It's everybody bought into uh, we were here to do something uh, great. We were here to make a classic, and everybody came there bringing their A game. You know, when when they saw Cube in that scene when he's talking to Mama T and he says, every morning I get up, I walk my son to school. You know, when he sees me, he don't see no thug. He, see a, he sees a man. And, and that dramatic moment, and that was early in the shoot, people started saying, wait a second now. Ice Cube is bringing it. This ain't the Ice Cube we know. This is with dramatic bottom to it. So everybody came to the set like, oh, okay, wait a second here. Okay, they're not going to out-act me. So Shy McBride, when it was time for him in the scene where he sees Lee John give the gun back, he said, David, he said, I, 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 I want a close-up. And I said, for what? He said, well, I wanna, I, I'm affected by what he's doing, and, and I, I feel it. He says, I, I, I'm feeling it right now, so we could get it set up right now. So on that close-up on him, I had, uh, he drops a single tear. And everybody was bringing their A game. Everybody, all these... Um, Trained actors were looking at rappers and comedians bring dramatic and emotional bottom, you know? Well, this is like the most consistently funny film I've seen since, I think, Superbad this summer. And Super I'm wondering, wondering what the editing process was like on this film to get that sort of flow to it. Well, editing was tough because you had so much material to deal with. But Clint... Culpepper taught me a lot in the editing room. My editor is Jeff Wolf, who assembled an amazing movie. I hired him because he, he edited life. And so I, he knew this balance of drama and comedy and how to hopefully never let you forget that you're in a comedy. And that's what, I, that's what we did in the editing. It was to, we never wanted you to forget that you were watching a comedy, but we wanted to have moments in there that grounded it as well. Well, I'm wondering if you can solve a mystery for me and if I just blacked out for a second. Olivia Cole, I believe, yes. and Red Grant seem to disappear from the movie. I'm wondering what happened to them. That was Ricky Smiley. Miss? Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley played the grandmother. Olivia Cole oh, played okay. Mama I'm T. I'm sorry. Well, I got them confused. But Red yeah. Grant. And Red Grant. Okay. Well, I shot another scene where they exited, but there was a voiceover in there that, that he says right after the um, right after the prayer scene. He says, well, I got to go. I'll be going now. I see you. Uh, he, Ricky Smiley said that to Mama T. Okay, that's what I thought, but then I was like, how did they get out of the church with no one, with the two guys not caring? I was just like... Right, but see, then when everybody left to go downstairs, then that's when they left. Okay. Because they didn't join everybody downstairs. So, they, so we're assuming they got out of the church. But there was a scene that I shot that got them out of the church. That's a hilarious scene that's going to be on the DVD outtakes, but it slowed the pacing of the movie down so much that we had to add in, add in a voiceover.